Ready, go! Keep that hand up there, Chris. Ah! All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome my guest at this time, a participant in the upcoming inaugural UAWL event and competitor who will be competing for the Women's Right and Left Championship, Christy Finley. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm wonderful. So let's take us back a little bit. How did Christy Finley get involved in arm wrestling? Oh, geez. Well, that was such a long time ago. <laughs> How many years are we talking? Because, yeah. Um, well, I think it's been almost like 13, 14 years. Because um, Jim's, my husband, started in arm wrestling first. Um, so when he started, he started going to competitions and practices um, and I was just kind of like the cheerleader. I just went and watched and kind of sat in the background. Um, you know, at that time, it was basically only Chelsea and Lori that were arm wrestling. And mm -hmm. I didn't want nothing to do with them on the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, at one practice, um, Chelsea asked me to, you know, come try it out, get on the table. So I did. I pulled against her. And after that, I was kind of hooked on it. Um, and then I've just been in competitions since then and training basically since then. Now, I remember watching that progression where there was kind of like a toe in the water here and there. And then all of a sudden you're full on competing. And I thought that was cool. So as far as accolades go, which have you piled up? What kind of titles have you won? Um, I have won some provincial titles and then just what two years ago for nationals uh, me and my oldest son Caden traveled to Edmonton um, so I was able to take away uh, second place in my left arm in my weight category and then third in my right arm for my weight category. And then since then, there hasn't really been anything going on. So <laughs> so there's a trend developing. So I had Nick on here earlier, and we were talking about the last time he was in a competition, and it was the Nationals in Edmonton. That was almost two years ago now. Yeah. So it's a weird situation we're in where everyone is kind of unknown what level they're at at the moment. So it's, um, I know that you have been training because I follow your social media stuff. I know that you're killing it in the gym. You've got a home gym set up. You've been going to the gym at four o'clock in the morning, crazy things like that. So you're definitely dedicated and we're all excited to see what happens because in contrast to that, your opponent, Brittany Sutherland has kind of terminated all social media and has not shown us a glimpse into her life at all in the past, I'm going to say six months. And um, how do you see that match going with Brittany? Um, well, for sure, I've noticed that she hasn't been on social media and I follow her. Um, you know, I like to follow people that work out because it inspires me, especially when I fall into my own little slumps. So she was one of the people I used to follow as well, um, just because she's also my competition. Um, I know when in nationals in Edmonton, you know, me and her battled it out both on left and right. Um, so I'm excited to see how it goes with this, uh, our challenge match coming up. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I know I've been training, um, but we'll just see, I think, one thing that's going to be hard is just not having any spectators or, you know, no one cheering in your corner or kind of, you know, you don't have, you don't have anyone behind you. Um, it's just going to be us there. So. <laughs> yeah. That's the weird part about it is, and I'm excited to see how that dynamic plays out 
both for the competitors that are in the moment and how it comes across on the release on YouTube because you're going into like that first UFC post COVID where you have just two guys fighting and there's no, no one in the crowd and you can hear everything. This is the same situation. You're going to have one referee, one camera person and two competitors and you're going to do your thing when it's over, you kind of, that's it. That's the end of the whole thing. And we clear it out and sanitize everything for the next two competitors. So it's an interesting format. And I want to know what you think of this league and kind of the whole idea around it, which is the central location, the super match only format, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, when I first saw you post about this league, um, you know, it for sure um, intrigued or, you know, it sounded really interesting just because you kind of see other provinces right now, like just due to COVID, but, you know, you see other provinces trying to do, um, you know, trying to get matches set up. And here in Manitoba, we kind of haven't really done anything um, just due to restrictions. So when I saw that you had this league coming out, you know, I think I messaged you instantly. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I was super excited about this. Um, but I think this is good for Manitoba. I think we need something like this. And since we can't have any competitions at the moment, if all we can have is challenge matches, I think this will be great just to kind of get us back on the table, um, you know, pulling and just training, you know, it's something to look forward to, even though we may, might be in the gym working out right now, or, you know, practicing at home, you're just kind of like, going through the motions sometimes. Um, so if you know that you have a match coming up, you know, you're going to put a hundred percent into your workouts and your training, and you're going to push a lot harder than what you were doing before. Um, so I think this will be great for Manitoba. And as for like location wise, um, you know, going out to Portage of the Prairie, that's not a big deal. Like it's what a 45 minute drive outside yeah. of the city. So yeah. yeah. 45 minutes from the edge so yeah i'm excited i'm excited for you to compete and um win or lose there is a list of people that want to have a match so you're going to be busy i hope you're okay with that <laughs> no that's fine <laughs> now uh I guess that's, is there anything you want to say to your opponent? That's the question I have at the end. Um, you know, I'm super excited to pull Brittany. Me and her have had some good matches in the past. So I'm excited to see what we both bring to the table just with our time off. It's been quite some time that I've been able to arm wrestle against a female or practice or anything. Um, so it will be neat just to see kind of you know just with COVID and training you know am I really like how's my training been going will it be all like will my effort show um but I'm excited to see what she brings to the table just because it's been so long since I think pretty much nationals is when I last pulled her I want to say now refresh her memory what happened in those matches um so left I felt really strong against her I think I just had her right off the bat um Right arm, um, we got into a few like strap matches um, where she was just able to pin me. Um, but we'll see, I've kind of been working on everything that like every, kind of my weak points I've been working on at home. Um, so I'm confident in myself, but again, you know, she's a very strong competitor. So we'll see how it goes in a couple of weeks. <laughs> awesome. Well, I can't wait to see it, and I can't wait to, to have you out here participating in the event. And I thank you for joining me today. Perfect. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Christy. Pronate, Chris. Let's go. Ah! Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going, Chris. Ah! Ah! Stay in there, Christy. Stay in there, Christy. Come on! Yes, I 
Sebastian! 